Hey you guys, it's Amy Gretchen. Welcome back to another Project Life Process video. In this video, I'm working on week 15 from 2017. So I'm just gonna begin this video like I do all the others, which is putting my four by six photos in the spots. I'm not entirely sure if they're gonna end up at that way, but you know, just right up front, that's where I'm placing them. Then I'm just gonna cut up my three by four photos. Now this week was kind of like week 14 in that it was more of an emotional week for me and I actually took very little pictures and I think also I was thinking about the next week and week 16 is week in the life and that I would be taking a lot of photos that week so I kind of had that in my mind as well. Uh, just kind of trying to gear up for that project mentally. I feel like I mentally have to you know, tell myself we're going to be, it's going to be a lot of work, but it's really awesome to be able to see your life um, back through your images. So if you've never done a project like that, I would definitely um, encourage you to do so. It makes you feel so appreciative of your life. Along with gearing up for a week in the life, I did my 12 of 12 project, which is basically a day in the life. So I took all pictures all day on the 12th. I do that every month. If you want more information, definitely check out my blog. I'll have the link down below. So not as many pictures this week, which is okay. Like you don't need a lot of pictures to be able to uh, tell your stories and celebrate your life. So a couple things. Uh, and then, okay, so on that note, I should also explain um, I wasn't sure what stories that I wanted to tell either because another thing that I did is I didn't do any journaling or I didn't keep up with my my journal notebook. So if you want to know what that journal notebook is, check out my, uh, well, I'll have it linked in the description below. I did a video that showed, you know, how I keep track of everything that's going on with my uh, week in the, with my project life and how, you know, I remember what stories I want to tell week by week. So I didn't do that. And when I came to do this spread, I was trying to decide what stories that I wanted to tell. And so what I decided to do was, I think I have five slots available to me and I decide to Every, I want to take one journal card for every member of our family. So there's five of us, my husband and I and my three girls. And I was going to designate one card and just write something about what was going, what's just basically going on in their life. What is to be celebrated? So um, I'm not going to do it in list form. I do it in paragraph form. So what I'm doing right now is I'm looking through my cards at uh, ones that, you know, kind of have the color theme that I want to use, patterns that I might like, because I want to cut them up and I want to put them either at the top or the bottom of the, those white three by four cards that you saw me cut up. And then I'm going to get some um, chipboard letters and I'm going to put them on the bottom there. So that's my plan. So I, I haven't done anything like this before. And so I'm pretty excited about just doing something different. Um, I know Allie's always talking about your, your project life is the sum of everything. And so not each week does not have to stand on its own, but all the weeks combined um, can tell a bigger story. So I was kind of excited to try something a little bit different instead of just going through the, you know, the fact base of this is exactly what happened this week. Um, not that I always do that. I definitely have some more feeling type journaling. And and this did include both facts and feelings, uh, what I was writing. But um, anyway, I really just love the way it turns out. So I'm just now I'm just looking for the patterns that I want, might want to use together. You saw those chipper, chipboards that I brought over. So these are old chipboards uh, letters. Probably I think they're from American Crafts, but I don't want to misspeak. I don't have the actual packaging. And like I said, they were probably from early 2000 when I bought them. So 
there's going to be stuff out if you you know if you're interested in doing something like that i know you'll be able to find something out there like this or you could even use stickers all right so you're just watching me assemble these cards together and what i ended up doing is cutting the pattern paper to uh to one one and a half inches and that way those uh, letters were able to fit on perfectly but have a little bit of a border so i'm just trying to figure out exactly I cut, I think I cut a few more patterns and then I realized I had more pink and I wanted more blue and, you know, so I'm just kind of messing around and just trying to decide exactly what I want to use. All right, so while I'm just trying to assemble all these, I thought I would talk about this trimmer that I'm using. This tonic guillotine trimmer is amazing and I love it and I know they have a bigger one and I've actually considered buying the bigger one because I know sometimes I need it although I have a really nice big uh, rolling trimmer as well but it's so great for using with uh, photos the three by fours and the three by four cards especially because you can cut off a very teeny tiny small sliver and it cuts off beautiful every time and you don't have to replace the, br the blade it's just fabulous. Uh, if you're looking for one, I don't remember it being too expensive at all. It's probably under, maybe it was like $12 or something like that. I've had it for a while, so I, I don't remember. But if you're looking for a trimmer, I absolutely love this. I've had problems with other trimmers in the past that end up not cutting clean or not cutting straight, but this one is so good. So I would totally recommend it. I'll leave a description. I'll leave the link in the description below, of course. So now I'm just sticking on the letters and you saw that I, you know, trying to rearrange them so not all the same colors are together or just even all the same hues and then some are on top and some are on bottom just to kind of mix them all up. And then I decided that I really wanted to have the A's on the outside and so I put the A's, my, my name's Amy, of course, and my husband's name is Adam. And so I thought it would be great to like have our initials on the outside and the girl and then, you know, the girls in the inside. So that's kind of why I decided that. So um, then I just did a little bit of journaling that obsessed card, which I'm kind of obsessed with. Like I want more of those. I really love it. I'm hoping to be able to use it on the other side, but I don't know if I will be able to. Um, that was talking a little bit about our puppy, the the photo right above it, there was some raccoons in our uh, fireplace and she was totally upset, obsessed with them that week. So I thought that was kind of funny. Um, let's see. So the gratitude, I just wrote 10 things that I was grateful for this week. Like I had mentioned before, it was kind of a heavy week for me. And it's always such a great idea, I feel like, to be able to write down the things that we're grateful for when we're struggling. Um, like taking photos for me, it really helps to just be able to really see the good. Then the next thing I wanted to do is just add a little something more to these cards. So I went through some of my stamps that I have and I settled on this one from Allie Edwards. It says right now and um, it's got like some arrows on the outside. I think it was the only right now I could find, which is so funny because I was going through all of her stamps that I own and I thought there's got to be another one that says right now but I couldn't find it so that one was suffice for me it was great and I the ink that I used was gray area from um, Studio Calico it's a dye ink and they have a dark one and a, and a lighter gray and I went ahead and used the lighter gray I didn't want it to dominate I just wanted it to be just a little bit something more and extra to add so I just went ahead and did that um and then I am done with all of that journaling. And like I said, I really just love, I really just love the way it ended up working out. So if you, you know, if you're not really quite sure what stories to tell one week because, um, you know, several weeks have passed or you didn't write it down or for whatever reason, I think that this is a really great alternative. Um, I enjoy, I know that in, in years to come, I'll enjoy looking back and, and seeing what I wrote there. All right. So I'm putting on the date and the title card. That title card came from Allie Edwards. Now I really liked this. Um, I can't remember what kit this came from. I think it came from maybe the tough kit. I'm not, I'm not exactly sure. I don't, 
have a ton of her kits yet, but I really liked what it said, but I didn't love the card. I felt like it was just a little too dark. And unfortunately, I didn't have a digital card because I was going to try and reprint it. But I just went ahead and used it. I just wish it was, you know, just a little bit lighter to light to lighten the spread a little bit. But I did go ahead and use it. I was thinking of using that white ink from Hero Arts, but I went ahead and I used the black instead because I thought the black would probably show up just a little bit better because it was kind of light. Now I'm working on my last three, or excuse me, four by six cards. So I have this photo of me and my girls and I was looking for an embellishment and I settled on with one that says today that came from a Studio Calico get, kit that was from ages ago. I definitely collect these things and then um, use them when I can. And then I'm just writing a little bit of journaling on there. And of course, before that, I did um, use my pen to go around the image. Like you've heard me say before, I really do like being able, it, it makes it feel grounded and less like the picture is just floating on to that card. Anyway, you guys, this is my spread for this week. So hopefully you guys were able to get some inspiration from it. I really appreciate you guys being here and supporting my channel. Like always, if you have any questions, please leave them in the comment section below and I will definitely get to them. All right, you guys, we will catch you in the next video. Bye.